All right. <laughs> so here we are. We are right now. Where are we? We are in Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah. And um, if you have watched video 133, you would have seen Geraldine. This is Geraldine. And where are you coming from? California. California. Mm -hmm. So we're meeting meeting here in Phoenix to have a really nice session. <laughs> so the session that you had kind of went a little viral there. Yeah, a lot, lot of information. A lot of information. <laughs> so tell everybody how that affected you. How did that that session affect you? Well, it was uh, a lot of information to digest yeah. and understand and comprehend mm -hmm. what it meant and, you know, meant not just for me but for everyone yeah. and um, how we can piece it into the puzzle of mm -hmm. our knowledge and our evolution, really, mm -hmm. you know, our own spiritual journey. Right. Yeah. And, and the funny thing about your session is that a lot of it was done with your eyes open. That's right. That's right. I remember. Right? So. so tell everybody what happens when you open your eyes in the session. So in that session, really, um, I could see. My eyes were open, but I couldn't literally see what was on the other side of, of my mm -hmm. eyes. It was really what I'm visualizing, the information that's being given to me, and I'm just seeing what I'm being shown, basically. So it's like a projection. It's like a projection, and, and the fact that my eyes are open, I mean, I knew that they were open, but at the same time, the information was coming in, just yeah. being shown here. Mm -hmm. so, so tell everybody what it is that you do that allows you to connect so easily. Um, well, I teach meditation, so mm -hmm. I you know, I connect to source every day and mm -hmm. I maintain a daily meditation habit of at least an hour. Yeah. And I run energy, you know, I work with energy, I work on um, destroying any kind of, um, any blockages that, that get in my way as much as I can. I work mm -hmm. with flowing through that, try mm -hmm. to be in the flow as much as possible and be open mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and and trust myself in my connection yeah more than anything so when you are in the session and we're going to be in the, get in this session in a few minutes how do you receive this information do you visually see it do you know it do you feel it how do you um, receive it i i think i get it um three different ways mm -hmm. um Primarily seeing the information, I'm a very visual person, and also with my own meditation practice, I mean, we, I practice a lot visually, um, mm -hmm. so I can see the information and knowing, just having this information brought through me. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. That's Good. Yeah. Good. So we'll see. <laughs> so we're going to start the session in a moment. I hope you enjoy it, and uh, thanks for watching this video. Here we go. As you look around and see yourself traveling, I'd like for you to go to your family, the ones that you have contracts with, the ones that you go to visit. Allow the pictures to flow as you see the place where they live and that you visit. Let me know when you begin to see the images. I'm inside a ship. Mm -hmm. Describe this ship for me. What does it look like? It's a gigantic mm -hmm. ship. Mm -hmm. Describe what it looks it like. Is, um, full of blue lights. Mm -hmm. Where are these blue lights coming it's from? 
the floor, the ceiling, the walls. Mm -hmm. It's a very modern What else do you see on the ship? It's a council of blue elders. Mm -hmm. Describe them. There are seats with lights, blue lights, mm -hmm. like reclining chairs with hoods on top, and the hoods on top have blue lights. Mm -hmm. There are eight of them. And I can see the gigantic glass ceiling of the ship above them. Mm -hmm. This glass ceiling, does it project out onto the sky? Into the universe, mm -hmm. we're in space. Mm -hmm. Is anyone seated? There are hooded men. Mm -hmm. There are hooded beings, not exactly men. Mm -hmm. And what do they look like? Can't quite see their faces, but they some of them it's representatives of different races. Mm -hmm. So it's like a council. Mm -hmm. Now you've seen them before. I have seen them before. Perhaps you can use your knowing to see through the hoods, to recognize what they look like. There's a representative of a tall gray mm -hmm. that's 14 feet tall. There is a mantis, a reptilian type. And some kind of hybrid humanoid that is is also tall, maybe ten feet. Huge broad shoulders, big body. He's what you call a Nordic type of a race. Mm -hmm. And there is a female. Oh Wow, she's a tall female. Mm -hmm. But she's a hybrid, almost with feline features and reptilian mixed. Where do you see the reptilian in her? Um, she has cat-slash-reptilian eyes and scales upon her head. Hmm. Her eye, her ears are a little bit pointy, but she has like a long type of a cord hanging from the top of her head all the way down to the floor. She is what they built the image of Isis on. Hmm. And she represents a race of female type mm -hmm. of alienoids, of some humanoids. Mm -hmm. What about the others? There are blue beans. There's one that's a blue bean. Mm -hmm. And the other is a tall black bean. Mm -hmm. They are all on the same council. This blue being and the tall black, are they humanoid? No, they are. The blue one is like a human slash um, gray slash reptilian. 
You can't quite tell, but mm -hmm. they're very tall. They have a little light in the middle of their forehead and they have big eyes again. Mm -hmm. And the other human, the other dark black one has a... Like almost like a, a bird feature, like Osiris, but mm -hmm. not quite. He's a dark black being. Mm -hmm. These men, these beings gather here in this ship and watch over the planet, watch over all the activities that are happening. Which planet are you talking about? Planet Earth, but planet Earth is a multidimensional. Mm -hmm. So within the exact place where the Earth is, there are the exact Earth multiple times. As if, for example, you're looking at a speeding picture, you see different images of the same thing. That's how Earth looks, as if it were traveling through time. But time vibrates, so the planet, the entire planet vibrates. And as it vibrates, each vibration is a different dimension. Mm -hmm. So, that's how we have the ability of traveling from one dimension to another. Depending on our vibration. Mm -hmm. So do we shift from, from one earth to another depending on how we're feeling? Correct. Mm. And this is how we choose different times, different choices, different lives at the same time. Mm -hmm. don't see the other planets moving the same way. They move differently. Each planet moves in a different way. So why does Earth move this way? Earth moves depending on its toroidal axis. Because of its the way that it's made. Because of its hollow. It's actually it's almost like a donut shape. Mm -hmm. The actual mass of the planet is like a donut shape, which means the inside is a hollow where there is other departments and spaces. Mm -hmm. So you say that these this council oversees the Earth. For what purpose? They oversee their group bloodlines that they have created on the planet. Hmm. They are specific bloodlines that they work together to create, which means, which means that even within their own races, there are different agendas. So different councils are made of, of a collection of different alien races. In this particular group, there are these races. Mm -hmm. So what are they overseeing now? They are overseeing... Oh, I see. They are overseeing basically the agenda that they're carrying out. They are... How can a dimension of the same races, the same collection of, of races, but with a different agenda, with a, a higher vibration agenda? Mm -hmm. So just the way Earth has different dimensions, different vibrations, these same species have different dimensions. Meaning, That's why we cannot define one alien race to be good or bad. Because even within their races, they have different dimensions hmm. of themselves. So the one you're looking at today, what dimension is that? What's their agenda? This 
seven point. What does that mean, seven point? Three, one, pi. Infinity, infinity. They're showing me in their numbers. I, I don't understand what number that is, but that's is a different dimension with a different agenda. Mm -hmm. And what are they trying to do? Let me understand. Trying to elevate the vibration. But I don't know why. Let me understand. They are trying to elevate a vibration within a dimension. Um, somehow it's connected to a planet. So, because the universe's vibration, as the vibration on Earth changes, it affects all the planets in the same galaxy and from there communicates with all the other galaxies like a ping ping pong like uh, those little balls that you hit mm -hmm. in that game pin pin something mm -hmm. a pinball machine a pinball machine mm -hmm. the vibration bounces off one galaxy to another to another to another creating different shifts in order for Oh my god. Okay. Just the way we evolve through our dualities, they as a whole race are evolving through their dualities. So each, each vibration, each dimension is a puzzle piece to that duality. But why? I don't. This is a creation that is evolving simultaneously. When they say that the universe is also evolving, that's what they mean. Every dimension that vibrates and connects with the other ones is evolving unanimously. So as we evolve, does that ultimately evolve up to source? I see two different separations to this mm -hmm. creation. Mm -hmm. We live within a DNA strand. Mm -hmm. We are a part of a DNA strand. Whose DNA strand is this? The one creator source. of source. Mm -hmm. So are we all part of the body of source? What we call God? I see white. I see white? Mm -hmm. I can't see. I can't hear you. Can you see? Say it louder. I see white, but I can't see beyond. Mm -hmm. Source. We are a DNA strand. As I am traveling, that there are two dualities to the universe. This is like a creation, like an atom within a gigantic DNA strand. 
the other atom, the other helix of the DNA is source, is what we call source. Mm -hmm. But we are within a higher mass of source, much greater. I am trying to go beyond. Describe what you see along the way. I am going into the white. Mm -hmm. High up into a spiral. Like a white hole. The white holes are much bigger and much stronger than the black holes. The white holes are plus expansion. The black holes are contraction. This is how we understand what part of the universe we are in. Mm -hmm. Source, what we call source, is a white hole. And it lives on the feminine side of the universe. Everything has a duality, a masculine and a feminine, even even the DNA. So the feminine is what we understand as source. It is the white. The masculine is what we call the creator. How does it feel to be within this? Extremely powerful and light. The body is heavy here. It feels light now. And it isn't letting me get past to see what else is beyond this source. I am trying though. What are you experiencing now? I am experiencing the white all around me. It is warmth. Mm -hmm. It is... It is what we understand as love. Mm -hmm. On the highest vibration has nothing to do as nearly as close to what humans understand as love. How does it feel to you? It is the most peaceful, the most peaceful reality we can ex expect, the most peaceful, infinite feeling that you have never felt on the planet or could understand. There is no connections or ties to people or humans or emotions or concepts, limitations, is not a word in this universe. Limitation is such a tiny, insignificant concept of understanding. Who is able to reach this place? Birds. Mm. People that are willing to travel. Mm -hmm. The seekers. The seekers that have been seeking for many years, many lifetimes, must continue seeking. They are put on earth specifically as if they were scouts. To scout knowledge. almost like a virus 
not like viruses injected into this molecule of earth which is what it is ultimately mm -hmm. this seeker even though within the confines of the earth carries out its path to connect this molecule on its journey as it goes up within traveling the DNA line of evolution up to the highest realms and vibrations of creation and source and wholeness. How do you know who these seekers are? Seekers are all these the ones that don't match on our very simplistic mind here mm -hmm. for us to understand does not follow does not follow the the same beaten path but doesn't follow with the agendas of what is created around as an illusion that disconnects and finds its knowing immediately when it comes out to earth as fast as possible. The seekers are the ones that find themselves quick and keep asking the questions mm -hmm. continuously. Mm -hmm. And you call them viruses? It's because they have source connection and they know, they've experienced it, they've been further up in the time scheme of mm -hmm. things, mm -hmm. of the evolution, almost like a time traveler. I don't want to say virus, it's just that it works like the white blood cells coming to the infection mm -hmm. to heal quickly and recover and continue that healing progression, basically. That's what I mean. Are there many seekers on Earth now? Many, many. What is the purpose of all these Thousands. seekers? Almost as if running and diving into the water to pick up uh, a ship that's been capsized mm -hmm. to bring it back up above water. Somewhere along the energetic line, the shifts of another virus per se within the universe has altered the timeline of our progression in the same way a virus operates within the body it has shifted the time and the healing capacity of earth so how was this done how was it done how and who did it The reason why we believe in the masculine and feminine of the planet is because the masculine side, the patriarchal society that we understand here on the planet, is actually a universal energy of creation. And that duality, which is the masculine side of the universe, created that strain to come in and slow down the progression within source to source creator however they both work in perfect harmony um at one point i mean they work in perfect harmony within the concept of nature or the natural progression of healing like a virus mm -hmm. but they put in I guess you can say an extra effort to slow down the progress of the healing mm. so when they say healing it's not just of the planet it's of the entire evolution of this source of this traveling DNA within the creation of all. 
So getting back to the Seekers. The Seekers. What are they doing for planet Earth? They are bringing as much information as possible here. They know who they are. They are the ones that bring the information. You are, you are one of them. And they have different ways of doing it here on the planet. They connect. Were these seekers that came here to Earth, were they given this mission or did they know it themselves? They know it themselves. Mm -hmm. um, created for that specific purpose mm -hmm. since forever. Even if they have different fragments of, not, I don't want to say imagination, but fragments of reality from different timelines or dimensions which are all happening at the same time mm -hmm. although we believe that we have different lifetimes we do operate within dimension particular dimension and within this particular dimension the seeker evolves through its own creation what do we tell all of these seekers that don't know their mission and that they feel so different. Seekers are source, pure source light. When they open the gates to source connection, They just must embody that and live that here on this planet. Mm -hmm. It's like a world that I see spotted with little white lights that are bringing up their energy up. It's like they are connected to source directly. Mm -hmm. And as they move, as they evolve through Earth, they transmit information directly to source to the evolution, to the movement within the healing of this creation, source, all, all be all, be all. So they may not need to do anything? They are clear about their mission and they have to, once they wake up and from the amnesia of this birth within this tiny matrix, they carry out their mission and transmit information back and forth to the future mm. of this dimension and through that they provide the healing for the planet earth and evolution they are connected to source like with a, a string mm. like a like an energetic cord that connects them and that's how they transmit constantly information the dimension is very dark and heavy this particular illusion uh, it's not exactly an illusion it's a dimension it's a vibrational pulse that we're living in right now mm -hmm. this existence of human life is shorter than has ever been that that's why we believe time is speeding up even the lifespan of humans quote unquote as we know as humans on earth is sh becoming shorter mm -hmm. we think it's becoming longer but it's become shorter that's how we know time is speeding up mm -hmm. as this vibration keeps going so is that why some people feel that there's not enough time in a day has it changed oh, absolutely mm -hmm. this tiny matrix is shrinking and shrinking I do not know the math to be able to under explain this to you, but the way that the infinity circle works, it is like a number eight. Mm -hmm. It runs heavier and slower on the ends, faster through the middle, mm -hmm. and it's as if we are c approaching the middle part. So what we know as another dimension is on the other side of the infinity cord mm -hmm. or circle, cycle. This is how we understand where we are in this universe. Mm -hmm. Could this be why so many people are not able to sleep the same way? Yes, in the same way that 
Correct. Mm -hmm. In the same way that the universe is speeding up the night, the amount of rest that the human body requires is changing. However, the human has to disconnect from its human material connection and connect to source in order to be able to flow through this time mm -hmm. shift and vibration movement and change without an issue. Otherwise, it will be eliminated. What will be eliminated? The human form. Hmm. The human form becomes eliminated by, in the same cycle as the entire creation of the universe works, with, as if an infection or a virus. It doesn't do what it needs to do in a healthy way to maintain its vibration. The vibration of the human body must be kept high at all times, or else it will be eliminated. In what way is the human body eliminated? Through, through death? Through death. Mm -hmm. And death is just, it's just a, what we call a time construct. Death is just the limitations of this human shell mm -hmm. within this vibration. And those that are able to flow with the vibration of source, what happens to their body? They just change dimension energetically and appear on the other end, mm. just like that infinity cord. Okay. It's how the nucleus of a molecule operates in that same form, like a cycle, like a toroidal cycle, but in an eight form. Now, they've talked about the new earth. Is that what we're talking about? That is what they're talking about. It's not necessarily new. It's just another uh, vibration, like a, a tick mm -hmm. in the vibration, the movement of the planet Earth. Mm -hmm. Now, some people think that we have already shifted sometimes back and forth to different Earths. Is that correct? We are constantly shifting many different vibrations at the same time. Mm -hmm. But what is occurring is that the entire mass creation be all is evolving and healing itself, per se. Natural progression of life, natural progression of ex existence within creation be all. I do not know the name of the beyond, beyond. Mm -hmm. I just can say be all. It is a white mass encompassing this entire nucleus, entire DNA strand, entire creation, entire duality, entire millions of galaxies and cells, which are cells basically. Mm -hmm. So this entire universe or galaxy, can we almost look at it as body, like our body has cells in it? Correct. Mm -hmm. So it's almost as if we are within the DNA of something mm -hmm. much greater, but it's not a human. Mm -hmm. It's a round essence, a mass. Mm -hmm. Humans created with four arms and legs, mm -hmm. two arms, two legs, is like a different shape of a cell, basically. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. Those other beings in the universe are like other cells. Mm -hmm. Now, when we started talking about this, we were at the council this council. Mm -hmm. Can you talk more about this council? This council is a vibration within a vibration. It is a dimension of m many other races. But in this particular agenda that is connected to my human body is watching the elevation of these source connections 
So basically, it is like a, a guide for the Wat people that connect to Source, seekers, mm -hmm. a guide for these seekers here on this planet within this agenda of tra transporting information to Source. Mm -hmm. So what is Geraldine's role with these watchers? I am a seeker for them mm -hmm. and I connect with other seekers here on this planet and as I help provide information through each cell I remind I provide information of source connection assisting them in opening their channels of connection to source as many as possible so that we seekers can assist other seekers in waking up however the people that we assist in waking up are not all seekers they are just in need of assisting in the evolution of their own cell creation and transformation vibration must be altered and risen up the vibration must be risen to and, assist. And how do we raise the vibration of those that are not seekers? Um, knowledge. Knowledge. It is all about the knowledge. Mm -hmm. They must understand what is occurring on the planet mm -hmm. one way or another. The point is the optimum operation of the human cell body must be operating in the highest vibration possible in order to facilitate the evolution, healing of this planet, cell, mm. universe. So all of those that are on the planet really are responsible also for the vibration, raising the vibration? Completely, mm -hmm. undoubtedly. And as this one planet cell evolves, hopefully all becomes vibration source, vibration connects to source, their vibration has risen automatically. Now, we cannot understand how this duality operates within the universe. We just know that planet Earth is as if you call it a white cell. Mm -hmm. And that is just its work, its job here within this construct of the universe, galaxy and creation. It's as if there are other planets which are different cells like let's give the example of a red cell but this planet is is a white cell mm. which is why this is called the planet of evolution and school planet mm. because as the evolution of each human cell plant is evolving it heals and transforms and provides natural healing for the universe as it evolves within the greater mass of mm. creation so how does reincarnation help? Reincarnation, this soul, collection of souls are connected to source. Mm -hmm. That's why it's a white cell. Mm -hmm. So, well, many have thought that this is like a, almost like a prison where we do we have to keep coming back and back what is the purpose of maintaining us in this reincarnation cycle is it for the evolution of this cell it is the evolution of this cell mm -hmm. and as it travels dimension through dimension we will be evolving through different dimensions each time until the cell goes up into the mass and and all be all of everything and everything mm -hmm. so this evolution is this the way to get back to source correct mm -hmm. that's why we understand it as an evolution of getting returning to source this is not a competition mm. it is a mass evolution for all here on the planet what we believe is a duality between the white and the black is just the natural progression of how the universe evolves in this creation of all be all. Mm. Now when a person dies, 
do they go back to source? A person never dies. Well, a body dies. Uh, the cell body, let's say, the body dies. Mm -hmm. The soul just recycles almost, um, and it's not even exactly a recycling. It's just a reallocation. Mm -hmm. It's a reallocation of that energy. Does that soul get a choice? It does not get a choice. Mm -hmm. I've been told this is a free will planet. Is this not a free will planet? It is not a free will planet as we believe and we understand. We believe and we understand that the confines of our creation around us keep us within a duality. But when you understand that we are a part of a much greater evolution and healing of a be-all, there is no such thing as needing to separately return to Source. Mm. It is a collection of... It must be done in unison. Can you explain that to me? Within this dimension, within this planet, within this mass creation, mm -hmm. as we evolve connecting to Source, we must go through this infinity loop mm. as we are speeding up into the next dimension level of healing within this planet. Mm -hmm. So when you say that we don't have a choice to come back, who chooses the body that we go into? Is that chosen for us? So I see. I see what happens. The duality that we understand. Okay. We believe that there is a matrix that was created here on this planet. Mm -hmm. This duality was created by virus per se of this cell it is truly a virus this virus is the one that assists us in choosing mm. the reason why is because as it maintains as because it's a virus its job is to not allow us to progress quicker through the cycles of healing of this cell, of this planet cell. Was it? What does it do to not allow us to progress quickly? Um, it's like what we believe of putting ourselves into a sleep, into this matrix, mm -hmm. into this creation, this mass of cells around us, this mass of vibrations around us. We sleep inside of these. Uh, confines of the creation around us, which is a uh, illusion to that's why we believe that we are inside of an illusion being put to sleep being distracted by all the things around us, mm -hmm. and it does it's just that the greater picture is that it's like a virus attacking us the healing of this planet mm -hmm. as it goes towards source so are the seekers here to to break through this illusion? Correct. Mm -hmm. They come in bringing this knowledge. When you are connected to Source, you cannot fall for that virus. You are just connected to Source. Mm -hmm. So you kind of ignore everything that's all the distractions around you? You must. Mm -hmm. We must. So what are the distractions doing to us? What are these things that are distracting us? The best way that I can explain all of these things, all the distractions, all the viruses, is like a virus within the body. Mm -hmm. We hallucinate our reality. We hallucinate the things around us that make us angry, upset, ill, instead of keeping a vibration that's high, it lowers the vibration immediately. And anything with a low vibration cannot 
create. Mm -hmm. We must create within the greater mass. And by create, I don't mean creating mass, money, and fortune. I mean creating this connection with source where we have the ability of transmitting source into others. Mm -hmm. That is the creation. The creation is waking others mm -hmm. because that's how, that's the only worthy way of evolving through this progression mm -hmm. in this be all. Now, I've been told that there are entities that feed off of low vibrations. Yes. Can you tell me about that? Again, these entities insert themselves within the body to feed off life force. Source creates a magnificent amount of life force. The fact that we are human with a human soul, it creates a life force energy. Oh, I understand now something else. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm so sorry. Please go back to that question because now I understand why hybrids. Mm -hmm. How do entities feed off of our low vibrations? Entities, basically, it's like, let me put it in a biological way. It's like the proteins are imbalanced within this cell of human and so they feed off that creating a disbalance within the chain of evolution creating a disharmony within the natural flow of healing of the planet earth mm -hmm. and so let me simplify those terms when a person is a, has an attachment within the physical body it can manifest as any projection that they may wish to see mm -hmm based on their own experiences, programs, understanding of what their creation is on planet. These beings attach to any part of their body in order to create uh, illusions of perceived blockages within the physical mass, mm -hmm. lowering their vibration. The high vibration has no attachments. The high vibration has no thing, no idea holding it back, it is impossible because it is source, light, higher vibration and cannot attach to this mass earth. It just flows and progresses. And that is how the earth cell vibrates different dimensions up quicker through the dimensional evolution of the source be all. Mm -hmm. The duality that we call the dark side the creator, the source creator that created all the artificial intelligence within what we believe is this arti artificial intelligence mm -hmm. is quote unquote a virus which is creating a separation between the good and the bad. However, it's just an evolution, natural evolution. What is this AI doing to us, this artificial intelligence? The artificial intelligence is creating a genetic change within the construct of this Earth. Mm. In addition to other things. Mm -hmm. What other things are affecting the Earth? Is there any energy that's affecting the earth? There is a strange red energy coming. Mm -hmm. What is this red energy doing? 
see if you can connect to it and see what it brings. It's pure fear. Pure fear. Mm -hmm. Who's it's, sending that red energy? It's an organism on itself. Mm. Oh, wow. It looks, okay, you know what it looks like? It's... Like a... I can tell you, it's like, um, let me tell you how. It's a long thing with little eye drop type parts hanging off of it. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a malformation of some kind of a cell. I want to, I want to call it a cell for some reason. But it's like a being in its own, and it's pure fear. And when I get close to it, I feel heat mm -hmm. in the center of my body. And, oh, this is actually, okay, a natural part of the construct of the cell of the not the human, but of the creation, be all. However, we embody a part of this, which is why we understand the root chakra as a red chakra, mm. which represents fear. But what it is on a grander scale is an entity of its own, a being, mm -hmm. its own cell. However, it's a now malcreation of that cell like a deformed creation mm -hmm. which is floating through the be all and feeds and grows as it travels what feeds it well, our con our our use of itself mm. basically is what that means i mean it's a natural part of this be all but it feeds and grows through our use of itself. So when we are fearful, it, it makes it grow? Yes, and this is why we understand or understood that the duality side mm -hmm. feeds. But in reality, I, I'm not understanding their connection to that though, because it's a different thing. It's not exactly the same. That fear organism is separate from what we believe to be the dark or the duality within the universe. The, you, that duality is just the other side of the DNA helix, basically. Is that fear coming towards the Earth? Well, it, yes, it's passing through the universe, passing mm -hmm. through our creation. Mm -hmm. How is it affecting the humans? Lowering the vibration again, slowing down the evolution and healing of this planet. Is there anything we can do to avoid having this cell? Connect to source. Mm -hmm. It is a part of us, but we must decide whether we use it or not. Okay. And all we have to do is connect to source directly and let let go and be completely conscious of mm -hmm. this understanding of a whole organism mm -hmm. and how it operates because when you do you will understand that there is no need for that energy your job on this white cell planet evolution is to be connected to source mm -hmm. so when someone gets depressed is that the same as fear yes it is uh, um, um, a f transformation of the same, mm -hmm. a different embodiment of the same within the body. Mm -hmm. So what happens is, like you catch a flu or you catch a cold, you catch fear. Mm -hmm. 
you catch depression, you catch sadness, sorrow, you catch a hallucination that you are not what you are. Mm-hmm. All you would have to shake away that lower vibration shell and evolve through your own knowing and connection to reality. Now, when you say someone catches depression and catches, is this something that someone gets from somebody else? Um, yeah, we bounce back these energies back and forth from each other because mm-hmm. we are such within the low vibration, like an ocean mm-hmm. here within this a virus on the planet of low vibration, not, a, not allowing us to evolve quicker. Mm-hmm. and in alignment with the vibration that we are going through here. Mm-hmm. Is there a, an agenda to make this fear cell bigger? Yes. For in, what purpose? In the same way that a red cell wants to eat a white cell, mm-hmm. this red cell wants to eat this white cell. The planet. The planet within mm-hmm. with all its humans Mm -hmm. so some of the things that are happening now on this earth false flags correct terrorism correct is this created to assist the self correct Mm -hmm. they are a hallucination a hallucination because different beings on this planet have different perceptions of what's occurring constantly. Mm-hmm. So who, who are the beings that were that are setting this agenda out? The quote-unquote virus which is on this planet works in coalition Mm -hmm. with this red entity in order to take over the white blood cell planet Mm -hmm. the white cell planet because they feed in a way off that off the they feed off eating the white cell with the red cell mm-hmm. okay that's just a natural progression of how survival is between two dualities mm-hmm. in an organism now is anybody controlling these that are creating this they are being controlled within a natural progression of what they're going through mm-hmm. However, however, the reds entity of fear it looks like they are controlling things Mm -hmm. but in some way they are flowing through the evolution naturally naturally now would you get off the little subject this subject for a minute and tell us have there been beings that have come to this earth like seekers that have changed things this AI agenda tremendously Mm -hmm. tremendously who are some of these seekers the the ones that have reset (laughs) reset the planet several Mm -hmm. times Mm -hmm. we have gone through different deaths through the different ancient civilizations of the universe 
dimension is what I mean. Mm -hmm. Each civilization on this planet is a different dimension. Mm. Okay? That's why we believe there are ruins. But those are interlacings within the other dimension. They are still existing within the other dimension. Can you explain that some more? So, time is vibrating and all is happening at the same time. Mm -hmm. Where there was Atlantis, for example, mm -hmm. there is still the Pacific Ocean where there are ruins there we believe there is still existing that land flourishing and vibrating within its vibration that's why we are able to connect to that civilization that civilization is actually in the future not in the past hmm. and so is the Mayan so is the Egyptian it's in the future I cannot explain mm -hmm. however it is within the same understanding of being within that loop of infinity it's on either ends of that infinity in which these create creations live simultaneously different vibrations on the planet have a combination of a mix of those civilizations within them because they have lived and are living simultaneously mm -hmm. those lives. So when we do, for example, a past life regression, are we time traveling through this infinity loop? Correct. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily it's time travel for what we understand it, mm -hmm. but it's happening at the same time. Mm -hmm. You are visiting. That's why the person can feel and know what's occurring to them mm -hmm. so vividly and embodying that essence there. Mm -hmm. Is that why we can heal? Correct. That life? Correct. That mm -hmm. is why we are able to heal those lives within this mm -hmm. matrix illusion mm -hmm. construct of being. Mm -hmm. Now these quote-unquote past lives that we're living, are they affecting the person? They are affecting, they are what we understand as the Akashic Records. Mm -hmm. The p library of knowledge from which the DNA strand, because everything in the universe works in infinities, humans work in infinity as well. And within our loop of infinity, which is within our soul, or which is the soul, is the information that travels through that loop of consciousness in and out. Mm -hmm. And any old being of what it was has the ability of healing itself and then replacing itself simultaneously. Do you know what I mean? Hmm. So when we do a past life regression, is it beneficial for people because it's we can heal? Absolutely beneficial. Mm -hmm. This cell body, which is within the loose hallucination and illusion of all its suffering and mm -hmm. conceptual limitations, requires the assistance of seekers to connect it to source by removing itself from its travel through its own loop of consciousness mm -hmm. that way it travels lighter that is the whole concept of mass mm -hmm. of weight of light and heavy when the vibration is low it is heavy filled with memories pain sufferings consciousness that is stagnant and blockages when the consciousness is light and healed what we understand as healed as a being of light, of mm -hmm. happiness, of emptiness, it is empty and light. It no longer carries those heavy, heavy weight emotions and burdens, so-called lower vibration, which is heavy on this mass shell. 
Geraldine had a question about Jesus. Who is he? Jesus is one of the seekers. Mm -hmm. The seeker, which is connected directly to Source, came here and is one of those people, as if you mentioned earlier, created a great shift mm -hmm. just in the way that civilizations were reset over the history of our time. Jesus came in to create a ripple effect. This information was infected. I don't want to say information because it's not that he wrote a Bible in order to base the creation of religions from. Mm -hmm. He did not. His being and his essence here as a seeker awakening and connecting humans to Source, which went down the bloodlines in history where the major genus geniuses of what we call our history come from. Mm -hmm. All of those knowledges, all those bloodlines have come from this under the seekers are a certain bloodline. Mm -hmm. And so he was a bloodline and from there creates these people with unique powers, so-called mm -hmm. geniuses with abilities to create and do things beyond our understanding, physical limitations. Is that why Jesus said that there are others that can do what he can? Correct. Mm -hmm. He is a person that created a ripple of healing mm -hmm. within the planet. His essence of pure divine love is basically the essence of pure divine creation and source. Mm -hmm. All we have to do is match that. In the same way all seekers here on this planet embody, he embodied it greatly. Mm -hmm. Other seekers here on the planet, other leaders, shifters that have moved things, which are not under the name of those religious leaders necessarily, because those were man-made. Mm -hmm. Not man-made. They were created by the virus in order to confuse our pardoned, simple mind, simple understanding of this illusion. Is this Jesus still connected to the Seekers? It's, he is one mm -hmm. of all of us. Mm -hmm. He It's not a particular person that we think. That silly man with the long hair mm -hmm. is nothing what Jesus was. That is an image created by the virus in order to mass manipulate and control masses of people. The source embodiment of that light is far brighter, greater than we can possibly understand. And it, we as humans want to enclose it within the shell of a human body in order to understand but you cannot. His light was greater than other lights here on this planet within our understanding of, cre of history. Mm -hmm. In other civilizations, like the Atlanteans and other civilizations, there are different quote-unquote Jesuses mm -hmm. that came in with far greater lights perhaps even the same incarnation of that same bright light. Mm -hmm. Bright lights can be created and split up into fractals and fractions of itself. Sometimes that is why when we do past life regressions, we are able to align ourselves with great people of history mm -hmm. because that source light or soul was divided into fractions mm -hmm. and this body picked up on one of those fractals of that soul. This light that he has, is that the Christ light? Is that what we're calling the Christ light? We call the Christ light, mm -hmm. sure, but what is the Christ light as you understand it? I would say it's the light from source. Yes, you can say that. You can say that. If that is what 
they want to define it as, yes. Mm -hmm. Can we all access that light? Yes. It is our duty here on this planet to access that light and nothing else. Mm -hmm. Absolutely nothing else. Mm -hmm. So, what happened to all of these ancient texts that were lost? You're saying that they, it's in the future. Correct. So, because yeah. these ancient texts, these ancient texts that came into the planet, mm -hmm. hold the history. They are not as important as we think. They were records mm -hmm. and traces left behind by time travelers from the future for us here in this dimension and what we call the dark forces, what we call the opposing side, the virus. When I say the virus, I really am talking about the races that we call dark ones. Mm -hmm. What we have known as the Anunnaki, but a version of the Anunnaki, a dimension of the Anunnaki, a vibration of the Anunnaki, mm -hmm. have created this agenda to destroy all traces of that. Those le literatures and lectures were left behind as a hint for us to remember our source connection, to remember the ability that we have, our duty that we have, not the ability, the duty that we have to return to source, mm -hmm. return, quote unquote, evolve through the healing of this be all. That is all that those lectures are there for and to help us identify and learn. Now Geraldine wanted to know about the Archangels. Are they cells also? Some of them, mm -hmm. not all of them, are seekers mm -hmm. that have progressed to another dimension. Mm -hmm. They travel interdimensionally just like the avians do, mm -hmm. protecting and overseeing this. The archangels are a fractal of Jesus, the true archangels, not all of them. There is a tremendous amount of angels which are named on this planet, which are angels of what we understand as death, and are there and appear themselves in moments of despair, in moments of people have pain and cry out for pain. These beings come because they are vibrating at that vibration. However, there are some vibration, they're angels that vibrate at a higher level. Those are a fractal of that source light, mm -hmm. a bigger one, not as big as Jesus' light because he was able to travel interdimensionally, physically is what I mean. Mm -hmm. So he was actually able to go from one dimension to another. Correct. Mm -hmm. Any other information that you have about that? Jesus was able to travel from one dimension to another a timeline at the same time, which is why there are believed to be traces of his light, physical traces of his light within different timelines in mm. the planet Earth. Mm. For example, Japan, China, uh, India, even Russia, Africa, Egypt, Europe, was he teaching there? 
he was teaching there mm -hmm. simultaneously and mm -hmm. at different times. Is that why he shows up now sometimes to continue to teach? He does not show up, but a fractal of himself fractal. does mm -hmm. show up, mm -hmm. and yes, to teach. Is he here to teach the seekers? He is here to open as many eyes as possible, mm. yes, and help other seekers that are not yet ready open their eyes as well. Mm -hmm. When we look at planet Earth, and how many seekers are here, what percentage of the Earth is now seekers? Not enough. Not enough. Not enough. It's like looking at the planet and seeing polka dots. That's how spread out they are. And these seekers, are they in places where there's a lot of people? They are. Mm -hmm. They are everywhere, mm -hmm. honestly. All over the planet Earth. I'm seeing the planet Earth literally like polka dots. But in some places, there are more, I guess, where there is more population, there are more. It's almost like looking at the planet at night through, mm -hmm. a ton, mm -hmm. you know, yes. you see lights. It's almost like that, mm -hmm. just like that, where there is more accumulation of energy. There are more, just like the white cells come and try to heal the red blood cells when it gets a wound. The seekers get together. Correct. Mm -hmm. They get together. and. As time is shifting and speeding up, we are finding each other quicker and quicker. Mm -hmm. However, please note that during this time of evolution, there are many that are not actually seekers. What are they? They are, again, a, not a hallucination, but like a, a piece of our imagination we have to purify ourselves on such a deep level to understand who is what from who in this moment of what we call a spiritual war within the healing procession of the universe we just need to cleanse and purify our cell organism in order to have this information flow through us as clear as possible mm. is that why in a lot of my sessions, we are being told to do meditation. Correct. To change our diet. We absolutely must clarify the heaviness of the karmic waste mm -hmm. that is within the body. We must clear those Akashic records that are linked to our DNA within our body. Our DNA holds all the information of our simultaneously occurring karma cycles mm -hmm. creating those mental blockages so the food the thoughts the food is so important because it is heavy the whole point of raising your vibration is to raise the vibration of your food mm. vibration is everything everything has a certain vibration please test your food for vibration you know if it's heavier or not than others you know how do you test food for someone who's never tested it if this food makes you i'm going to simplify make you tired heavy mm -hmm. and sluggish mm -hmm. unable to be attentive and clear fool you are already incorrect the feeling of fullness is a mass which is attached to your physical body and takes a long time to progress through the organs of the physical body we must cleanse and detoxify constantly in order to provide energy to flow through us and allow that vibration to quicken mm -hmm. that way we can travel through dimensions as well within our sleep if you eat late you cannot sleep you cannot travel where you need to travel interdimensionally to heal as white blood cells as white high vibrations we require the duty to travel interdimensionally to provide healing because the earth is a white blood cell evolving through itself in the be-all therefore it must be evil of healing constantly 
It cannot heal if we are not healed. You cannot be a white blood cell with illness to heal something if you are not healed. Mm-hmm. Very good, thank you. Now Geraldine came here with one major request and that was to learn about her abductions and her hybrid children. And she was told that she was not ready to see all of her children. Is she ready today to learn more about these abductions? What happened? How these children were made? And what they're going to do with these children? Does her higher self allow this today? Yes. Thank you. What can you show her now about these abductions? Did she have a contract? I'm five years old. Mm-hmm. And I'm walking on board a ship. This is the first time. Mm-hmm. Number 44. What does number 44 mean? The apartment she lived in. Mm-hmm. I'm walking into the ship. They are making me walk down a hallway and sit on a metal chair. They are making me put my legs up inserting a chip inside of the very back of my spine right behind my uterus this will keep track of activity until i am ready to give eggs was there an agreement No, these are not agreements. Mm -hmm. These are intrusions. Intrusions. Who are these beings? What do they look like? Big horns on their heads. Big horns on their heads? Tall, dark. What race is this? It looks like Osiris and Anunnaki mix type being. The Osiris? I, I can't, I don't know the name. It's Anunnaki and a Os- mix of Anunnaki features with Osiris. Mm-hmm. They have long, tall, big bodies with strange horn type formations on their head Mm -hmm. and strange robotic type eyes Mm -hmm. massive beings with three digits Mm -hmm. what happens after this first time at five years old I am returned that is all for now Mm -hmm. their ship is very complex I can see the ship. How is it that you board this ship? They put a beam of light. I leave this physical dimension into their ship Mm -hmm. and walk into their ship. Do you walk in the ship with with your body? Yes, I was a child and they can control easily It's a pure, clear mind Mm -hmm. without programming. Mm -hmm. So what happens after five? What's the next time they take you? The 
I'm a teenager in Bolivia. I was walking home from school one night by myself down an alley and the space before me turned black all of a sudden. I was walking down a cobblestone street after school and all of a sudden the cobblestone turned into just black. Everything around me turned black as if they removed me from that dimension. What happened next? I'm walking on top of blackness. I am made to the splits. They insert something inside of me. A white, round thing. Where is this white, round thing placed? In between my legs, inside of my vagina. What is the purpose of this thing? Insemination. I feel this cold, wet, thick substance coming inside of me. It just feels freezing cold. Mm -hmm. And left there. And left there. How are you returned? I am in my room, in my bed. I'm sleep, sleeping, and I wake up for a minute, and then I feel physically awakened, sexually. What? As, as, in, as in aroused mm -hmm. for the first time in my life. I am 15 years old. I don't understand the feeling. I don't understand why. I just feel that way in my bed. The floor is orange in my house. Mm -hmm. I am lying there experiencing this feeling and I don't know what to do with it. I fall back to sleep. Confused. Mm -hmm. So what happens now that you have this fluid inside, what develops? I have stomach pain for the next couple of days. I thought I had a stomach flu. My uncle gives me antibiotic. I have allergic reaction to antibiotic because this chemically alters your chemicals in the body. You cannot take medication. It immediately rejects medication. It makes your body immune to all other things except what is there. It is moving around inside me. I become sick. Three days later, they take it out. What happens when they take it out? Are I'm you taken again? Sleeping, and I have a dream where I am on a mountain. And the sun set. And they rip it out from underneath. And it hurts so horribly bad. They sing a lullaby music in the background. The lullaby and music is a contradiction to what is occurring, mm -hmm. but they do not understand what they are doing to me, how it is affecting me. What is this mountain? scene supposed to do for you? 
calm me down. Mm -hmm. It is a sunset with a certain lighting which appeals to me in this life. Mm -hmm. They rip it out, put it in a spherical container with a fluid and insert it into a wall object which maintains the warmth and umbilical reproduction of a cord mm -hmm. which feeds the fetus until it is prepared to grow. I do not know what specimen they have inserted. They... I don't see who is doing this, mm -hmm. but I do see a tall gray. Mm -hmm. That's all. Do you receive any communication telepathically from them? They do not speak. It is frightening because it's as if they know what they are doing. Mm -hmm. But no, they don't know and understand what they are doing. They just feel my vibration. Mm -hmm. And my vibration is fear mm -hmm. at that moment. And pain. What do you think about when you see this fetus? I don't know what to think. I am... At I don't know what to think. Mm -hmm. I just see it very cold without ability to rationalize it. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's close that scene and let's see what happens next. When is the next time? Where are you? I am in a bed in a white room with a blue cover. What is this place? It's a man's house. Mm -hmm. A handsome, tall man. Do you know this man? Yes. Mm -hmm. I slept with him. I am lying on the bed, but I am paralyzed and I cannot see. I cannot hear or feel anything. What happens now? I fall asleep. And then I wake up the next day like nothing happened and leave. So let's find out what happened in between. I was at a club with a friend and this man comes to me, very extremely tall very cold hands put something in my drink takes me with him he is not a human what is he? those those beings mm -hmm. those Anunnaki slash dark beings how does he show himself as being tall and handsome? He looks like a handsome man. Mm -hmm. Kind, sweet, but still very cold and distant. Mm -hmm. His eyes are like glass, but I don't understand it because he numbs me away. They do this to protect what is occurring? 
what has occurred now while you were numb? He has inserted another child. Mm-hmm. Has he inserted it artificially? Or from his own body? From his own body? Mm-hmm. I see myself a week later. I don't remember him. When did they take this child? A week later. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what happened. They come in at night into my room, take me with them into this very cold, 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 cold table. Freezing, freezing cold. My back is freezing on this metal table and they lift my legs, pull them out again, and it hurts really, really bad. They just cut it off the umbilical cord, grab the umbilical cord and connect it to their tube, which goes inside spherical bowls filled with plasma. Placenta, artificial placenta. They do it right before your period. I am going back to Earth with no recollection of this occurring, just my very, very painful, horrible period which was so painful that it it almost kills me the pain the next day I almost pass out from the pain my head hurts really bad They don't want me to know this information. Why are you being kept from this information? It's going to reveal them and what they do. Mm -hmm. They give me... So let's use that white light to eliminate you. Feel that white light going through your body. Hmm. Connecting you to source. Connecting you to truth. Pushing away and dissolving that fear. Good. I can continue what must be connected and protected. Mm -hmm. Keep the connection of the white light at full power, illuminating truth. Okay. What do you see next? I 
I am in my room and I feel like I'm being choked. Mm-hmm. How old are you now? 27. Mm-hmm. Who's choking you? These beings are around my bed. Mm-hmm. What do they look like? Um, four tall greys mm-hmm. and three small greys. Um, when I am constrained like a dog with a machine to my neck and my shoulders keeping me down as they insert something into my left arm. Oh god, that's so painful. They insert it in my arm like a intravenous type of machine. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's going up my arm, you up can, my shoulders, into my neck. You can just absorb the information, but don't absorb the pain. It's going... Oh. <coughs> up my throat. Mm-hmm. And out my throat. What is this? Some kind of a robot cord. Mm-hmm. What does this do to you? They keep my mouth open with this cord and five prongs. And enter a green light blue liquid into my body through my mouth. What what does this liquid do? Liquid goes inside my chest. Makes me feel like I am suffocating all the way down into my stomach. It coats the inside of my stomach, my intestines. It's meant to be absorbed by my body. It is... It is like a bodysuit, internal bodysuit they are putting inside my body, which tracks my every move and body fluid movement. This liquid coats the inside of my organs and expands through the mass outwardly. Ugh. And coats my body, my entire body from head to toe. I am lying there, unable to move. They rip out the cord from my mouth, let it go back inside, in through my arm and pull it out from my arm and leaves a corresponding chip on my left arm. My fingers hurt because of this, as every time I move now, it hurts my tendons. I will have to get used to this movement. Is this because of the liquid inside? Because of liquid and implant. Mm -hmm. They leave. Tell me more. What happens after you have this liquid? How does it affect you? I get sick for two weeks with a flu. Mm -hmm. With a cold sickness. I am sick, I get nausea, horrible stomach flus, throw up and throw up and throw up and throw up, but it does not go away. I believe it's an amoeba. Mm -hmm. I go to the doctor, the doctor prescribes antibiotics, I am allergic to all antibiotics, I take antibiotic, I get sick go into convulsions, 
get taken to the hospital. After two weeks, I lose 20 pounds. I want to keep drinking water as my body is revolting against this object inside of me, wanting to eliminate. I drink three gallons of water within four hours and I still am not satiated from the thirst. I am very sick. Finally, after exactly two weeks, my body goes back to normal again. I am no longer sick, but I lost a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what they use this for. What happens next? They use this to track every single movement of the physical body. Mm -hmm. Watching everything that I do feel. They utilize it to see how they can manipulate my energy and vibration as needed. They use it to maintain my uterus in perfect health in order to produce children further. Let's find out how they produce the rest of these children. With this blue liquid inside of my body, I no longer need to have the illusion of any human man. They just take me and interdimensionally insert the children as needed. Even though I only have eight children, they have grown several others and removed them. However, their genetic combinations don't always take and they have to throw them away. They experiment with these genetics. Do you know of how many children you have? 24 24 8 that are perfect embodiments of what they are trying they are the successes the others are just trials mm -hmm. some did not fail some failed some failures some are failures have you seen these children I have seen only four, not the rest of them. Where are the rest of them? The rest of them are within the ships, being groomed for their mission. What do they use these children for? What is this grooming? And what is their mission? Just like infected humans. The more they are creating an alteration in the genetic creation these hybrids are genetic creations, just like a GMO fruit mm -hmm. and a vegetable. They are GMO humans, which are meant to embody higher strands of DNA. We are not able to embody full strands of DNA because of our vibration and make. They can embody higher strands of DNA. They are groomed and prepared clean slates. AI robotic slates with no past lower vibration baggage karma information. Mm -hmm. They are clean slates, therefore their vibration is high. They create hybrids to infiltrate the evolution healing of this planet. 
How can we recognize these hybrid children? You will see the children which we call some, not all, rainbow children, children which are such human, beautiful humans, advanced conscious beings, are actually artificial intelligence. So, are these children being born? They are being born here on this planet when they are prepared or they appear multidimensionally mm -hmm. and us humans can have our timeline erased and replaced with information as necessary. However, they... Every soul that is evolving through evolution connecting to source is leaving one dimension entering another dimension as one leaves one dimension they replace that space with this illusion with this hybrid temporarily to work in their favor editing the timeline in reverse how successful are they being Right now, very successful. Consciousness levels are not high where they need to be allowing things to come in and out. How can we as humans change this? This is a real type of war which is fought on levels which we cannot comprehend. Humans which come from clean bloodlines, clean lines, which are old souls, are the ones that are being targeted mm -hmm. because they are more ready and groomed in order to be transformed into a pure, higher vibration, clean slate. They require the vibration of a human that's reincarnated several times so that they have the knowledge and vibration ready to jump into. In order to navigate this earth as needed mm -hmm. for their use, mm -hmm. we would need to maintain our vibration high as much as possible. We have the ability to say no. We must raise our vibration and tell them we no longer want to be a part of this vibration, mm -hmm. of this project. Mm -hmm. Everything is still within its free will of a soul which is connected to Source. As they open their connection to Source, it's almost as if that vibration becomes invisible within the timeline of these beings mm -hmm. that is necessary to, let's say, cloak each being as needed. Now, you say that you need to keep the vibration very high. What we've just heard here from Geraldine is very disturbing. Very disturbing for her and anyone listening. How can Geraldine keep her vibration high knowing that she has been part of this program or perhaps many, many others who have been part of this program? How can they keep their vibration high in order to win this war? Just within the natural progression of nature, there are survivors, feeders, Mm -hmm. Thus, we must understand that naturally our purity in our bloodline is so high and with so much information, we must continue our path with a clear understanding of what is occurring without fear. Mm -hmm. The entity of fear is what causes confusion and the reason why those entities use that is because easily accessible and easily available to manipulate the consciousness of people. Humans must stop being afraid of the truth. 
we must understand the truth. Truth is knowledge. Knowledge is power. If you understand what is occurring with your eyes wide open, even if it may be painful for the illusion of the human body, it still means that we have an obligation as beings on this planet of high vibration inherently to continue its path of healing regardless of what is occurring. Unfortunately, as cells operate intelligently and as time speeds up, intelligence levels also changes, the game constantly changes. Mm -hmm. We must be able to adapt to realities which are constantly changing. Mm -hmm. As time changes and shifts, the reason why self-love is so important here on this planet is because that is the key to connecting to Source. You cannot see how great you are as a being on this planet and your mission and your understanding of what your duty is if you do not acknowledge and honor this cell that you are it will be like a cancer upon itself you cannot be a cancer upon yourself you must understand your mission what about so many that say I don't want to be here anymore that is a virus and an illusion in itself it is again a cancer of thought within a body the thought of not wanting to exist within its duty to exist its natural existence of existing is impossible that concept is based on fear which is inserted within the human body the human body must understand its greatness and mission there are some beings that have short time frames within this construct of time and leave early and that is fine that is necessary for within their will mm -hmm. free will however the joke is on them because they are not leaving they are only being reallocated there is a certain play on the concept of reincarnation with karma and guilt of not progressing appropriately within the timeline given However, each being must connect to Source regardless of the illusion they are placed inside of. As time is speeding up now, we are able to connect with that concept of evolution quicker and quicker. Geraldine had a question about the languages that these beings are communicating with her in. First of all, who are these that are communicating with her? And how can she read the language? Some of the information she is stating here today is the information that was given on those papers for mm. her to understand that was not an abduction that she experienced from the ones taking her children. Those were source seekers which embodied that to provide her with that information. That abduction was not an abduction for children harvesting. It was an abduction to show her what has occurred and what is happening and to spread this information as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. So did this not happen to her? It happened, however, she believed it was an abduction, as in the idea of the abduction of the same people that gave her children. Oh. They are not the same ones. So she was taken by a different group? Correct. Oh, okay. And, and who is this group? The Council of Eight. Ah, oh, okay. Which is managing that vibration. Mm. So when we started this session today was this her going back to this this experience correct okay well not exact experience as she lived it mm -hmm. from her memory this is understanding who those people are at in the same way we embody 
her speaking through her mm -hmm. ability to see all these things and disclose information so that you can understand mm -hmm. bigger picture yes who, who is speaking through her right now this is Geraldine but higher vibration of higher vibration mm -hmm. what we would call higher self we call higher self this is highest of highest mm -hmm. connected to council of eight she is one of us in this council here I figured that's what she would be when she is in this council of eight what kind of form does she take? She embodies white woman, tall. Tall. Uh, blonde, white eyes, being. She is leader of those who call Pleiadian types. Mm. Those mix of DNA. Is Geraldine a hybrid herself? Yes, she is. Mm -hmm. This being called Alcyon. She is the mother of this star group. However, we are a vibration of a vibration within this illusion you call matrix mm -hmm. universe. We are seekers of seekers of seekers which have come from future mm -hmm. to operate and assist with this healing of this evolution here in this time frame dimension. And where do these seekers of seekers of seekers come from? Source up the line. Mm -hmm. When you heal Earth, every dimension is, let's say, moves up the line towards closer to source, what mm -hmm. you believe is source. But really, it's all encompassing. It is like another toroidal existence. Mm -hmm. So what message do you want to give Geraldine today after she now knows about her history about how she is being controlled is there something that she can do to reverse these implants that she can reverse the ability to have these people control her these implants some were removed mm -hmm. previously however they do not affect a seeker as much. She connects to source mm. and immediately vibrationally as if slips out of the lower vibration body from which is attached this mechanism. Mm -hmm. It's not those beings do not have the ability to hijack the DNA and rewrite the DNA with this apparatus. Mm -hmm. It is just there vibrating at a lower vibration. It doesn't affect her here with her duties. Mm -hmm. Good. Anything else that you would like to tell Geraldine? Must stop externalizing and internalize the vibration that she operates is very high unfortunately extremely sensitive to surroundings causing pain and illusions of disillusionment mm -hmm. must focus on knowledge being given in order to operate as needed this information is a gift of the universe as seekers needing other seekers as you and I miss must assist each other 
in the healing of this planet. Her abilities are very much valid, as are yours. Therefore, must work in order to quickly work in dissolution and healing. Mm -hmm. A question. On a different plane or a different existence, do I know Geraldine? Yes. In what capacity? You work with each other even closer than now, interchanging information, healing each other, throwing energy back and forth constantly. You throw energy at each other. All information you receive somehow is transmitted through her knowledge. Her knowledge is then there to support energetically for you. You are connected energetically. Therefore, if you need more connection, she provides for you on a different dimension, and thus you give back to each other simultaneously. You are from same group, mm -hmm. same family of energies. Is that why she came to my rescue when I was in Australia? Yes, she is able to obtain a source connection vibration far greater than other ones. Mm -hmm. Others can and provide you because it's mathematical knowledge which your body is made to accept. Certain seekers from certain groups are able to connect in this form. What would you like to tell all of the other seekers out there who are on this mission? Don't be afraid of the truth. Make sure you maintain vibration. Eliminate all excess baggage, all poisonous substances. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Time to do the work. No more fear, no more separation. It is important to understand the natural progression of the human body in this existence. Yes, it is a matrix. Yes, there are some limitations. More importantly, those are illusions. Do not forget. Talk to each other. Do not be afraid. The biggest enemy of this is to become a cancer to yourself and then a cancer to all others. A cancer which eats at reality, at truth. Very good. Is there anything else that you would like to say in closing? Love. Love is high vibration. And body, love at all moments, even if you're sitting there doing nothing, even if you are doing something, even no matter what you're doing, immediately tap into love. Love is source. That's how this white planet is earth grows creation is love organite organ the orgasmic creation of energy is love it's divine love this is source please become acquainted with this vibration at all moments of your day it is imperative to avoid viruses very good are we complete today Yes. Thank you very much. Wide awake, feeling wonderful and refreshed all over. Welcome back. Wow. I'm dizzy. You're dizzy? Yeah. <laughs> well, let's replace those selenite with some shungite. Let's ground you a little bit. Yeah. Mm hmm. Let's bring you back to Earth. Tell me what you experienced now that you have seen truth. Can you understand? Yeah. What your role is now? Yeah. 
How does this empower you now? Very much so. Mm -hmm. This is pretty insane. Oh my god. Yeah, thank you so much. How does how does your body feel? Um, I'm buzzing. Yes, I'm not so. sure if I can move. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know why, but I'm buzzing too. <laughs> really? Oh my god. So both god. of us are buzzing. Yeah. I think we brought in some big energy in big this energy room. Big energy here. Huh? Yes. Yeah, I'm buzzing too. Really? Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. <laughs> so how long do you think you were on this uh, journey? I don't know. Maybe like, maybe hour, half. Half hour? How did it feel? Um, pretty. I mean, I an hour. I don't remember how long the first part. I don't even remember what I said in the first part at all. Mm -hmm. We're at two hours and fifteen minutes right now. My God, Alba! <laughs> oh my gosh, again, <laughs> you poor thing. <laughs> poor Alba. <laughs> oh gosh, thank you so much. It's yeah. been wild, huh? Yes, yes, this was just insane. So how has this helped you? I know that you came here to help others, but this was quite a bit of healing. Yeah. Um, well, first of all, from what I can remember, um, the information given for my... Um, about my purpose is incredible and just being able to see how it's like we really are like blood cells connected to source mm -hmm. it's like it's like an organism that has to work in perfect harmony and we have to be healthy beings and this is why and it's like all the cliches that we've ever ever heard they're all correct at the same time what kind of cliches i mean just the the concept of you know um be happy and mm -hmm. and, and healthy and eat right there's a reason for that, but far more important than what we think is just feeding yourself with food. Mm -hmm. um, and then, in addition to that, keeping your vibration high, now we understand why, because we're like blood cells and we are white, we're source beings. Everything else is just like an illusion, you know, weighing down, weighing us down, mm -hmm. away from what we need to be, which is our duty to be, actually, mm -hmm. you know, and it makes sense. Um, everything else that we've heard of recycling mm -hmm. it's just a little different in perception you know now you came here with one concept did you leave with a different, with a different one? completely different concept so what, what idea did you have coming in? well I mean from last session uh -huh. <laughs> of like trying to understand the universe and what's happening I had a concept of um, um, like artificial intelligence building the duality mm -hmm. of the world and the negative and um, that it's like they were here to you know eliminate us and mm -hmm. we can think of you know the administration and, and all mm -hmm. this uh, you know occult satanic things that we believe to be occurring which is real under a certain translation but under this understanding it's like a natural duality that needs to occur on the planet mm -hmm. um, and all of it is for the purpose of the healing the planet earth is meant for healing which makes sense because earth energy is said to be green it's creation it's mm -hmm. life and it's the same vibration as love you know so yeah. I mean it's like all of these dots are being put together You've been connecting quite a few dots. Come on over here. You need a <laughs> hug. Oh. So, tell everybody what this was all about. How do you feel now? So I feel good. It took mm -hmm. me a minute to recover from that one. That one yes. was intense. Yes. Um, so, how do I feel? I feel shocked, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Very shocked. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I just hope that this information um, provides everyone mm -hmm. with as much knowledge and direction and path needed mm -hmm. to do your work, mm -hmm. all of us mm -hmm. that are here to help support the evolution of the planet. And um, I do this with a lot of love, you know, mm -hmm. honestly. I 
feel like this is something that I was blessed by meeting you, you know, in order to provide this information. We're both on a mission, okay? <laughs> so, now that you know the truth, do you feel like it has changed you? Yeah. I mean, I need to process everything I just understood, mm -hmm. but um, I think once all of this information sinks in, mm -hmm. um, it creates a very uh, big shift within my perception of what I need to be doing. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how can you help others now? Well, how can you see yourself now as a seeker? Um, my purpose is to connect people to source. Mm -hmm. And I have that connection. Mm -hmm. And I am willing to show in any way possible how anyone can connect to that source. And mm -hmm. it's not easy. It's a very painful road. It's a very lonely road. Mm -hmm. And it caused you have to go through a lot of transformation. But if you're ready, you say you're ready, you get started and you just do it. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Do you feel that most of the people who are seeking have gone through that dark night of the soul? Mm -hmm. That they have to heal themselves? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And the thing is that it's a constant evolution, like an onion mm -hmm. that keeps peeling itself. So different parts of it are going to keep feeling open and open so I know that we as humans we feel so despair mm -hmm. because once we get done with done we think we're done but please understand <laughs> there's another scheme <laughs> there's another one <laughs> there's another one and so you know don't fall despair and I know I fall in that all the yeah. time and this is why I'm able to help people understand yeah. and why I can talk to you about this mm -hmm. is because I feel many onion skins I'm still not done and but we're all here to we're help all each here other. to help each other that is the duty and the uh, purpose of us uh-huh yeah mm -hmm. and uh, tell everybody what you actually do to help them because you help me in my time of need yeah. as most of you know if you're watching my channel I got very 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 sick in Australia I mean I thought I was going to die yeah. Really? Yeah, I know. And um, I don't say that very lightly. I really was ready to just, that was it. I thought I was never going to leave that place. And Geraldine j did contact me and ask me, yeah. you know, yeah. can I go in there and help? Because because of my free will, I have to give her permission. Correct. So tell everybody what you do to others to help, okay. help them. Well, I'm... I, I see energy, so I work. When I work with Alba, I'm in San Francisco, she's in Australia, <laughs> and I was able to see all the darkness and what occurred, how dark energy transferred into her physical body, yeah. and help remove and detach that from the physical body, bringing in source light and healing and protecting so the body can mm -hmm. recover, close itself within its energetic field, and, um, and it works. seal it, seal it, mm -hmm. so it doesn't have to come back in. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it worked. Um, I was when I was at that place, I was exhausted. Mm -hmm. I had gone through many, many days of exhaustion because of the time zone difference, many sessions being done at one time. So I depleted my immune system, mm -hmm. my spiritual immune system, which allowed Allow darkness to seep in. Right. And it happens to all of us. Correct. So this was a time where I had to cancel many sessions and just recuperate. And yeah, this is the one. Yeah, <laughs> she's the one who helped. <laughs> Thank you. So she can help you too. So how can people contact you now? Um, yeah, please contact me at BayAreaMeditation.com. Um, you can also call me. Mm -hmm. sure you spell it out so they can know so, what what how to say. I'm going to spell it this time. <laughs> B a y a r e a m i d i t i o n. So Bay Area Meditation. Dot com. Dot com. Yeah, very and simple. It's Geraldine. So and I'm Geraldine. Yeah. Yes. And I and I'm in the San Francisco, but I can work remotely. As Any, you can anywhere see, in the world. I was in Australia, a little yeah. bit far. <laughs> so I'm really happy that uh, we did this session here today. Thank I'm you. glad you were here available. And uh, tell everybody how... Well, I, I have to tell you how magnificently amazing Alva is. A soul, a seeker, a light source connection, divine, with a very important purpose and mission. 
And if you have the blessing to be able to work with her, that means you have work to do yourself. Yeah. And a lot of information and knowledge that you are divinely, gracefully given. So um, anybody that comes in here on this bed to work with Alba, you know, there's a reason. And none of the sessions are just simple sessions that don't mean anything. They're all meaningful work and pieces of a very big puzzle, which is important to connect to source ultimately. Mm -hmm. So please come and see this beautiful woman. <laughs> incredible knowledge infinite thank connection you. Yeah. thank you you could reach me at albawyman.com mm -hmm. i am really booked way into the head but i do travel all around the world and if you want to uh, get on my mailing list go to my out of town page sign up for my newsletter and i will be traveling to a city near you hopefully and uh, i hope i get to see you so thank you for watching this amazing session and until the next time bye, bye. <laughs> Oh my god. This is amazing.